it was nice. Yeah, so let's solve this interesting probability uh, interview question just for fun. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more interview questions, you can subscribe to, uh, you can uh, click my video list below. So chess tournament has two to n players uh, whose skill is one greater than two uh, up to two n. It's organized as knockout uh, tournament so that after each round, only the winner proceed to the next round. Except for final uh, opponent each round are draw random. Let's uh, also assume that uh, when two player main the game, the player uh, with better skill always wins. What's probability that two player one and player two will meet in the final? Okay, so uh, let me just explain this question. Okay, so the idea is that uh, so let's uh, let's do a simple case. So understand the equation. Uh, for example, uh, n equals to two, uh, two to n, right? So let's say n equals to one, that we only have two players, right? So that one and two will always meet, okay? And uh, so if n is to two, oh, by the way, this, so this problem should, should at least n equal to two. Oh, so n equals to two, that uh, you will have, uh, you have one, two, three, four, right? So it's like this. Okay, so it, it, uh, so opponent choose a random, right? So in, in this case, one and two, one will kill two. Okay, so in so in this case, one will not one will not meet meet two in the final. But in this case, they say one, three, two, four. Then the, it will then one and two because one will kill three, two will kill four. So one and two will meet in the final. Okay, so obviously in in so obviously in this case that you can see the answer, right? Because uh, so be, because uh, you, you you can just write write down every possibilities. So there are six, but uh, you don't care, right? Because you can fix one to be here, and uh, two two three four. Uh, two has three choice, but uh, you must go from the, the right group, right group. So the probability in this case will be uh, two divided by three. Okay, because two has three positions. If two are the right hand, if two at the right hand side, then it must hit with this. It must hit with uh, it must meet with the the one. Uh, it, it must hit uh, meet with the one in the final. Okay, so this is the quick solution. Let's go through the general aim. So I will uh, give you two solutions. Okay, so solution one. Okay, solution one will be uh very uh, uh tricky so the idea is that uh, uh just sorry very straightforward the idea is that uh in, in so in order for one and two meet in the final at the first round one cannot meet uh, one cannot meet two right so that means in the first round one cannot meet two and also uh, in the second round second round one cannot meet two, right? One cannot meet two. And you keep going. So finally in the semi-final round, one cannot meet two. Okay, so we just, uh, there are independent, there are, these are all independent, uh, uh, independent events. So let's take out, take out the product with probability. So what is the, what is the first round the one cannot be two? This is very simple, right? In the first round, there are two to the n minus one person, and the one cannot be two, right? So the opponent that one can choose cannot be cannot be two, right? So, uh, it has this, right? Because this is the rest, uh, and in after the first round, half of people will be will be discarded, right? So in the second round. One cannot meet two, right? So in, in this case, will be two to the minus one, right? Minus one, and uh, two to the minus one, minus two. Okay. And uh, in the semi-final round, as I said, you get one, two, three, four, right? As we already compute, so will be two to the square minus two, divided by two to the square minus one. So exactly this. Okay. So let's uh, product. Let's times all this. So you get two to the minus two, two to the uh, minus one, times uh, two to the minus one, minus one, 
minus one, minus two, to the uh, minus two, minus one, to the uh, minus two, minus two, up to two to the square minus two, two to the square minus one. Okay, so you can easily say, see the pattern. The pattern is least one, and the least one, they are differed by two. Okay, so two. Okay, so all these cancel. So finally, you will have uh, you will have two, 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 right? So you get two to the n minus one, two, right? So two to the n minus one divided by this. Okay, so this is there. Okay, so if you plug n equals to two, then you get uh, that you get two divided by two to the square minus one. Okay, so uh. Uh, let's say solution two, which is a quick solution. A quick solution is very, uh, very simple. The idea is that uh, the idea is that what what I just said in in a, in a general situation, right? There are two to the n minus one people here, two to the n minus one people here, and then they will fight with each other. They will fight with each other. Okay. So, in order for one and two meet in the final round, two must be in the right group. Because two will always win. If one is here, right, two will always win. So this is it. So there are two to the minus one people here, but two must in the right. So two, so this is the answer. Because this is the number of the, the person that at the right group. So this is a quick solution that uh, you just use this idea and you can solve. But the 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 I the quick the first solution that I come up with uh, is this. Just just write everything down. Okay. So uh, see you guys next videos.